Yankees hosting the Royals. The Royals are plus 120 on the money line. The Yankees are minus 145. The over-under is 8.5 runs. The Yankees laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 145, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. And the Royals getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 175, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow. Use a site like VegasInsider.com, totally free. We'll allow you to compare all the sports books pricings in one place. So people don't ask me or tell me that the odds changed two hours before the game, which obviously they're going to change the more money gets bet on these games or if they swap a pitcher. You know, it's supposed to be 74 degrees with seven mile an hour winds blowing out and no rain. Lugo pitched once against the Yankees. This year, seven innings, four runs, four earned. They lost 4-2. That was in New York. He struck out four. Stroman pitched once against the Royals this year. Five and two-thirds, no runs, no earned. They won 10-1 in Kansas City, and he struck out one batter. Stroman is more of like a pitch-to-contact kind of guy than a strikeout guy. Head-to-head, the Yankees are 7-3. and three. The home team is on a two-game winning streak. The home team is 6-4. and four. The favorite is both 7-3 and three on the money line and 7-3 and three on the run line, meaning when they win, they win by multiple runs. There's only been one one-run game in their last 10 meetings. It was a game that the Royals played and beat the Yankees as an underdog. The over-under is 5-5, five and, five and the over-under at 8.5 runs is 5-5. Five and five. The Royals are 2-3 and three in Lugo's last five starts. The under is hitting his last two. Six innings pitched, 7.2 hits, 3.6 runs, 3.2 of which were earned, 5.6 strikeouts, 1.6 walks, 0.4 home runs, 94 pitches per game, 16 pitches per inning. And for the Yankees, 3-2 and two in Stroman's last five starts. The overs hit in his last three. Overs 4-1 and one in his last five, so getting run support, giving up runs. Five and a third innings pitch, 6.2 hits, 2.2 earned runs, 3.8 strikeouts, 1.8 walks, no home runs, 91.8 pitches per game, 17.9 pitches per inning. The Royals are 4-6 and six in their last 10, 4-1 and one in their last five. Five runs, six runs, two runs, 14 runs. Five runs and a win, four runs and a win, two runs and a win, and then four runs and a loss. And I picked the under in today's game because the Yankees hadn't been scoring, and both of those pitchers gave up a ton of runs and, you know, went against the numbers. But the Yankees are 3-1 and one in their last four. Three runs, two runs, three runs, 14 runs. Three runs and a win, two runs and a win, one run and a loss, and then 10 runs in a win. Yankees with the money line, Yankees laying the runs and the over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.